In this video, I'm going to show you Luma Lab's incredible modify video feature, and I'll show you loads of tips and tricks on how you can get the most out of it. Okay, let's get into it. So Luma AI's modify feature is out, and it does exactly what it says. You give it a video input, and then you can change that video with either a text prompt or a stylized first frame. I've done loads of testing, so let's check them out. I've actually filmed a bunch of videos of myself doing different things, and I want to use this video here using my trusty cardboard prop gun. Now, once we add it in, it will come up with this box here, and you can move this slider across as you're only allowed to use 10 seconds of footage. So if you input a video that is say a minute long, then you can move this across to find the section that you want to change. And then we have this start frame button here. So I'll show you this in a second, and it is really important. For this first example, I'll just try a test prompt. And I've just put in the prompt a robot holding a gun with a beach background. And if we come down here, this is where we have the strength settings. If you want the changes to be quite minimal and for it to stick to the structure of the main video, then I would suggest using these three settings here. Then if you're adding extra things to your video, then you have this middle option here, which is the flex and it allows it to be a bit more creative. Then if we go into this top one, which is reimagine, it will change the initial video quite a lot, but with still keeping some of that base motion in the video and I'll use this setting here on the strength slider. And this is one of the results from the text prompt. It does look a bit weird as it's got this weird kind of halo effect around the character, but otherwise I think the animation looks really good. And here are a few other versions with different strength settings. And now I'll try a video using the first frame. So you want to click on your video here, and then just click on the first frame to download this frame here. Now what this allows you to do is to stylize this frame and then Luma will look at that frame and apply it to the rest of the video. There are multiple ways on how to do this. You can add the image into Luma and use modify to actually change the image. So I've just put in a cartoon style with a forest in the background and the results haven't come out that great. You can get good results, but I find it is quite hit and miss. So I'll show you some of my favorite methods on how to change the first frame. One of my favorite ways is using Magnific AI. So I'll quickly show you my method. Make sure you're on the mystic model here. So with this, you add your image, then you give it a prompt. And for the prompt, I've put an alien holding a sci-fi gun with a beach background. And the image looks awesome. Now this is where Magnific really helps. As you can see, as I'm sliding this past, it matches up nearly perfectly with the shape and the structure of my original image. So back to Luma, we add that first frame into here. When using the start frame option, I don't tend to add any prompts into it. And the video looks pretty awesome. As you can see, it's sticking to the original footage really well, and it's copied across the character across the whole video. And here's another version where I created a Terminator version of my character, and it looks incredible. Another great method is using Flux Context to edit your images. You can use this model on different websites, but I like using replicate.com. Then if you come up to explore and just click on image models, you will see the option here for the Flux Context Pro. And here's an example image of how to change an image, but I'm just gonna add in the image of my character. Now I've added into the prompt to make it a 90s cartoon style. So I've made sure to add a prompt which says to keep the person in the same position. Then if I click run, we can check out the results. And it's done a great job at making me into a 90s cartoon style. Now, as I shot this on a green screen, I want to change the background. So I've just put in change the background to a forest and let's see what it does. And it's done a great job at editing the image. So you can download this and use it as the first frame in Luma. Instead of using a start frame image, you can actually add a style as well. So I've uploaded an image in this illustration style. Then if you click on preview, it will actually give you previews on how that first frame would look and then hopefully the rest of the video should look. If you want to see what different strengths look like, just click on which one you want to see and then click on this button here. And then if you move through these tabs, you can see how these different settings look. The images are a bit weird looking, but it's still good to get some ideas. And you can get pretty funky with adding styles. So I gave Luma a style input of this weird abstract painting. And here are the previews of the first frame that it's created. 
which I actually think look really good. And here are what the videos look like. You can get really creative with changing the style of your first frame, so definitely experiment with different styles. Oh hey there, just a quick note, I am actually working on another video with advanced techniques with this modify feature. So if you want to check that out, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, back to the video. And in this example here, I wanted to test each strength setting with the same first frame and video. So I've got this video of me swinging this cardboard dagger and using Magnific AI, I turned myself into a knight. And here are the three different videos. Make sure to utilize different props in your videos as well. As you can see in this video here, I'm pretending this drill is a weapon and I'm pretty happy with how the video turned out. And in this video here, I was just holding a hose and then I just used a text prompt in Luma to say man holding a snake in the forest. And I think it's done a pretty good job at reimagining the hose as a snake. And here I'm just holding a massage gun and I turned myself into a toy soldier. And the results look awesome. You can also use the modify feature for in painting. So for this example here, I've got this close up of my face and then I used the flux context image generator to add an eye patch onto my face. Then when adding it into Luma, it created this video, which I think did a pretty good job. Definitely choose a lower strength for these kind of videos as it can sometimes introduce weird artifacts into the video. It can struggle with the details when there's a lot of fast moving action in the video. So one of my tips is actually to film in slow motion. So if you're filming at 60 frames per second, you can slow that down to 30 frames per second and then upload that into Luma, create your video. Then once you export it out of Luma, you can speed it up two times back to 30 frames per second. I find it helps with creating a much more detailed video. I also did some tests with lip syncing. So I've got this video of me just saying a few words. Then I created a first frame of me as an alien. It definitely works better with lower strength settings. And I'm really happy with the results. As you can see, the character is talking in the same way as the original input video. Shh. I haven't experimented with this yet. You can use basic 3D scenes to help structure your video. As you can see in this example here, I think it's just a really creative way on controlling your shots. So you could create your virtual world within Blender just by using simple blocks and then make a virtual camera throughout it to then take into Luma and change to however you want it to look. So we've reached the end of this video and that's just a quick look at Luma AI's modify feature. I think it's really interesting and I can see loads of possibilities on how to create some really unique looking videos. If you have any tips or tricks, please leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. My name is Jack and I will see you in the next one.